Hey everybody, welcome back to the program. We go in depth on uh, our other channel, the Clinical Research Circle, regularly uh, for this kind of stuff. But what I have right now, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this stock today, Cal Vista Pharmaceuticals, K-A-L-V. Okay, it's just had a monstrous day, so I had to do like an emergency podcast to cover this. And I'll do these little short ones here and there on different biotechs. Again, we go in depth on like four or five biotechs a week on our other channel, the Clinical Research Circle. On this one, I'll do highlights from like the best ones. Uh, but this one popped today, 116%. If you look at the chart, right now it's at 3380 but earlier this morning, it was at $42. And it's all because of news from the top line, um, the phase two positive data for uh, HAE, which is hereditary angioedema. So they had positive phase two results. By the way, they have uh, two products that are interesting right now. They have KVD 900, which is for the treatment of HAE attacks. And they have KVD824, which is for the prevention. Okay, so it's a prophylaxis. This one, the KVD824, there's going to be a catalyst in 2021 once they receive the go-ahead. Uh, I think they already received the go-ahead to do the phase two trial, but they're going to receive the fast track, just like KVD900 received the fast track. There's a lot of confusion around fast track. So I'm going to kind of go through some of that with you as well. But let's look at the price because if you look at just the five day, all right, you see like it's just been chilling in 15s and then it jumped up to 40. And now it's at 36. You might think it's too late to get in. But look, let's look at three year because I found this interesting. So if you look in July, uh, March 2019, it was in the 30s it hit 30 it hit 30 bucks in uh, March 2019 and then it dipped and I think the dip this dip here in December uh, in in February uh, this dip is the pandemic dip but this dip I believe it had to do with the fact that this phase one uh, study for the diabetic macular edema KVD001, the phase two data did not meet the primary endpoint. So that's what that dip uh, entails. But if you look at, like I said, the three-year chart, all right, it's actually not that overpriced. And now they have two candidates for, honestly, a better indication. I don't know if you can call it better, but it's, it's uh, I think um, the HAE is more underserved than the diabetic macular edema. And so this is why they got the FDA fast track. Now, let me show you what the fast track means, because this is important to see the next catalysts, potential catalysts coming up. So we have the, uh, and then I'm going to go on clinicaltrials.gov because this is how we analyze this. So FDA has different accelerated uh, reviews, okay? Fast track is what we have now for KVD 900, which is for the uh, treatment of HAE attacks. Um, it is not a breakthrough therapy. It is not accelerated approval. It's not priority review. As far as I'm aware, it's fast track. And so fast track means it's a little bit quicker of expedited process. Okay, look from the FDA's website. Um, is a process to uh, designed to facilitate the development and expedite the review of drugs to treat serious conditions and fill an unmet need. So any drug being developed to treat or prevent a condition with no current therapy obviously is directed at an unmet need. If there are available therapies, a fast-track drug must show advantage over other available therapies. So obviously this KVD 900 does because they already have the fast-track approval. Uh, so what does that mean? It means more frequent meetings with the FDA, more frequent written communication from the FDA about such things as the design of the clinical trial, which now the phase two, the top line data is really good. Now they're going to have to do a phase three, right? So they're going to get more frequent communication from the FDA. I think that phase three study should be getting going soon. Um, so soon, meaning this year, maybe second quarter, third quarter of this year. Um, so that's another catalyst. And so we're looking like when you're looking at these biotechs, you're really looking at catalysts. So you might be saying, well, is this is a good time to buy. I would say it's a fair time to buy if you're willing to wait. Um, 
a couple months to a year for more catalysts, like to ride these catalysts. Um, otherwise, I would be buying on the dip. So obviously, there's going to be a lot of profit takers here. But if you look, like to me, the price is fair. They have two more candidates. We're in a much hotter market now. Biotechs are going through the roof. People are overpaying for them. So 36, where it's trading at right now, as opposed to, and I believe it's actually 30, 34 right now, uh, but as opposed to $30 in um, March 2019, so almost two years ago. Okay, so this company's been around. So there are upcoming catalysts. Okay, the phase three study is going to get started. So that's going to be good. Then you're going to expect to see data from that study. I went on clinicaltrials.gov to see if there's already a phase three study um, planned. It, it is not on there yet. The only one I see is this one that just completed that we read about. Um, I don't even see the phase two for the um, 824, which is probably the next catalyst, honestly, because the once they launch that phase two trial, and these trials are relatively quick. So let's look, if we look at the um, KVD 900, which just showed top line approval. So the study started, looks like December, 2019. Uh, when they first posted it. So it started around uh, study start date, July 2019. And then the actual study completion date was December 8th, 2020. So between December 8th and February 8th, they've been analyzing the data to present. So this gives you an idea for how long a phase two study on a fast track route can take. It's actually pretty quick. Okay, they started in July 2019, they ended in December 2020, so like a year and a half, and then the results. So you can kind of see the same forecast for this. If this phase two trial for KVDA24 is going to start in, um, let's say, March 2021 or April 2021, we can expect to get results from that by April, May, June, July of 2022. So this is a long-term play. Uh, I think it's a good investment. I think it's actually fairly pri fair, priced fairly, but I think it's going to uh, dip because people are not patient to wait for these next catalysts to come up. And like I said, this next one, KVD824, I don't believe they got uh, fast track approval yet for that one. They got fast track designation for KVD900, uh, so I'm going to look to see if they got it for KVD. Uh, we intend to file an IND, this is straight from their website, for a phase two clinical trial in the first quarter of 2021. So they're probably going to apply for fast track. So that might be the next, that might be the next quick catalyst. So if this thing dips back down to 30, because people are taking profits, you might see it go to 40, um, in a month or two. So I don't think it's too late at all. And then if once we get the phase three study going, and as long as we're seeing the interim data, uh, when they release interim data, uh, also pay attention to things like insiders buying and stuff like that. Uh, you might get a catalyst in, I would say, summertime, maybe fall for this KVD 900. And then phase three studies generally take a little longer, even on fast track. So if it's going to start in the fall of 2021, you can maybe get results by the winter of 2022 or early 2023 for a real pop because of that. That's the that's the approval. Phase three are the pivotal studies. So just wanted to give you an overview of the stock that's been really hot. I know a lot of people are interested in it. I'm actually going to be considering, I, and by the way, I should have prefaced this with this is not financial advice. I don't own KALV. I just heard about it uh, yesterday, uh, or actually today because of the it was trending. Um, I don't think it's too late, and I do think it's a potential good buy. This is not financial advice. I don't own it. I'm going to be looking at uh, buying on the dips if I can um, and being willing to hold for six to 12 months. And if you really want to hold, you're going to hold this for like two years. So that's my 
uh, take on Calf. Let me know uh, what you guys think about this in the comments below. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. And make sure you go to the Clinical Research Circle and subscribe there. Make sure you go to the Clinical Research Circle and subscribe because we do – I do regular po uh, biotech plays here on my channel, like when they're trending and ones that I really think are, like, hot right now. But on our other channel, the Clinical Research Circle, it's not just me. It's me and five other people, one of them is a doctor, reviewing – biotechs that we think are interesting. Uh, so that one's more long form. Usually they're like 40 minutes to an hour. These are going to be quick 10 minute, 12 minute videos here of stocks that are hot and what I think about them. So again, not financial advice. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe here, like, comment, and then go to the clinical research circle and do the same. Thank you guys. Good luck.